My guest today on The Nation wants to know is truly if there was ever someone who fitted that definition or that description of controversy's child, then he would be controversy's child, grandchild and great-grandchild. His name is Srishant. He's played for the country, always in controversy, accused of fixing, acquitted by a special court in Delhi in 2013. He's been through the highs and lows, faces a life ban. And in the last one week, he says, why just me? And if I'm not going to be allowed to play for my country, I'm ready to play for any other country. Some people hated him when he said that. But one thing you cannot fault him for is for speaking his mind. He's got political ambitions, is affiliated to the BJP, has fought an election. There's nothing this man has not done. But what he's doing now could get him potentially into bigger trouble. And we'll talk about that today. Because today he says, why just me? There are other fixers too. They've been let off. I'm not the fixer. There are others who were accused of fixing. The Indian Cricket Board backed them and supported them. So the whole question is, how far will he go in this conversation today? Shishant, welcome to The Nation Wants to Know. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you, it's good to see you after many, many years. Ten years. Yes. How time flies, man? Yes. Yeah, Ten years, yeah? Long time. Right. We're both getting younger. <laughs> An experienced thing, uh, youngsters. My God, 2007 yeah, and now. Just after the World Cup, I think. Just after the World Cup. How has life been? Um, tough ride, right? roller coaster ride. Right? If you're asking from 2007, it was brilliant. Um, yeah. yeah, as you s explained earlier, the controversies kept on happening. Yeah. Off, off field. Um, I think I was more portrayed as a entertainer than a cricketer. Yeah. So. It used to hurt then um, as, you know, there was no guide guide um, as a cricketer when you grow up in Kerala. Mm. And I only used to look up to um, Dennis Ali sir because I used to think, and I come from a Mar of Peace Foundation, mm. so I used to think, you know, aggression is everything. Mm. And you got to be aggressive on the field so that, you know, you get the respect. Mm. Uh, and uh, nobody corrected it and it, it was helping me to do performance. Um, but off field, um, whatever I did was highlighted rather than my five wicket hole including the captain used to say it's very tough for me to even control him. So it, all that used to hurt me, but then at the end of the day you're playing and you're performing, it never mattered. But the worst thing happened is 2013. And 2013, um, why um, I was really, really uh, not just disappointed, but uh, everybody knows about it, I don't have to talk about it. In 2011, when we played the England series, right. uh, um, I had bone marrow edema. I was, uh, I, had, uh, I, had, I was supposed to advise to do surgeries on both my big toes. And um, I had a huge story to tell the world that um, I remember even the uh, physio said it, this is Mission Impossible 6. If, if, you, if you ever play cricket again or if you run again, it will be a miracle. And um, I had to go through surgery, six surgeries on both my big toes in 2012. And I was off cricket and I was trying to make a comeback. And my dream was to play the 2013 uh, September, October South African series. My, my, the only um, goal during those 2012 to 2013 was to play the South Island series, nothing else. Um, and that's when Renji Trophy uh, Kerala cricket happened and um, um, they are re requested, in fact, they asked T Mr. T.C. Mathu, sir, um, because BCCA wanted me to play. Um, um, I had to play for Kerala cricket. Um, so when I played for Kerala cricket, I met two, three youngsters and I wanted to take them to IPL because most of the youngsters are like Sri Bhai, um, is it possible for me to get an opportunity to show my talent? And I was playing for Rajasthan Royals then. Uh, they were kind enough for letting uh, my uh, seven, eight players to come for the selections. Mm -hmm. I took them to the selections uh, because if I am not playing, then uh, I, they won't even have a look in. Even when I was playing, it, I don't want to name. Whoa, 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 just pause. You're going too fast. You're going too fast. We're going to take a pause now. Did you fix matches? No, sir. Never. Tell me about the day you were arrested, the night or the early morning you were arrested. You were headline news overnight, Shishant. Talk about that. Tell me about that moment. What were you doing when the police came? Uh, I was coming out of uh, a party, uh, which uh, a lot of IPL, uh, IPL players were there, and I was on my way to one of my friends after party. Um, uh, and I was picked up, uh, I think in, I think Carter Road in Bombay. Uh, mm -hmm. It was like two, Two innovas came and, and first I thought, you know, it must be a joke. Um, uh, someone is playing a prank, very honest with you. I mean, 
didn't even see you under arrest. आपको हमारे साथ आना होगा. And suddenly two people, uh, three commandos came in and my driver got out thinking that it's a kidnap or something, and he ran. The, he was so scared that the driver ran off. Um, and I had my one of my friend Rajiv in the car as well, and uh, one of my friends uh, was a lady, which uh, the, all the channels are showing whom I just met there because they were also going for the after party. It was more like a courtesy to drop them, uh, you know. जो भी कार जा रहे हैं उन गेट इन द कार गेट इन द कार दैट्स दैट्स द लेडी हु वाज देयर इन द कार एंड शी गोट डाउन एंड इन द मिडल ऑफ द रोड द कमांडोस केम इनसाइड एंड वन इन ओवर स्टॉप्ड इन फ्रेंड वन इन ओवर इज बिहाइंड एंड देन आई वाज जस्ट पिक्ड ऑन द 16th आई थिंक एट एट 3 थ्री ओक्लॉक थ्री फिफ्टीन एम एंड आई हैड नो आइडिया वॉट्स हैपनिंग देन वी वर वी वर टेकन टू the marine drive side and i was said up to bed you you keep quiet uh, you keep quiet to bed to bed to bed who told you that? uh I'm, my commandos and who were the senior official was with them i, I don't really know the names um so these guys uh, and i was asking kya hai uh, can you please tell me what it is you are under arrest i said aapke paas arrest warrant hai kiske liye arrest kar rahe ho chup bed chup bed they were not really explaining anything so obviously i was getting scared uh, to start with i was thinking it was a joke but then i knew it is nothing uh, very serious matter and uh, when we were um, in marine drive and um, this camera was saying really bad um, uh, stuff about uh, me so i was like like what like you are a match fixer and tum log ko pata nahi hai if hum bahut smart hai hum delhi se ke log hai hum aapko you don't know what we are capable of you told what you will escape mm -hmm. um and all that i said oh, can you please explain uh, can you please tell me what's happening mm -hmm. so they are like sab pata chalega delhi pahunchne do let's reach delhi then we will know mm -hmm. and they had no not, nothing to say and i was really getting um the moment and you I, got paraded in delhi you got paraded uh, it was uh, i remember i uh, they didn't even um, take me in the morning flight mm -hmm. they made sure it is a delayed flight so that it was a friday or saturday because otherwise um, um, all that i came to know later it was all really really well planned because uh, in the i reached delhi around afternoon evening flight afternoon is flight and it was like a parade as you said as if some um, i don't i don't know when take the name um, so uh, i reached a, a safe house what that that's what they call uh, completely because a lot of media was following us and mm -hmm. um, we, were, we were blindfolded and uh, we were taken to some place and um, then i was in a complete isolated area and uh, they were asked has to remove because i used to wear a lot of chain and they asked me to remove everything and um, it was all kept and he said uh, they made us uh, made me wait there almost 2 uh, 3 hours uh, there was no questions asked or anything and then we were taken to the um, judge house um, so that 24 hours before the arrest or something you have to sign or wakalat mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. like that so um yeah that's uh, that's how it happened that uh, that is the 16th evening uh, which i remember and i was only crying and i was trying i was trying to figure out why why is happening and uh, who is can you please explain no one is explaining it and one of the lawyer came and made me do the wakalat on the way and i had no idea who that is and because i have not who interrogated you a lot of people interrogated me who was the senior most person who interrogated you <sighs> uh mr neeraj kumar was the head of the he was the commissioner of delhi police yes uh, but no more than interrogation he was having um very strong heart because interrogation everything was done by the commandos and the acps and did you confess no no uh, uh, it was it was the on the first 7 days um i was really very uh, very very difficult mm -hmm. um uh, you know you know how um what they do in shishan tell me everything please You have said that when you were interrogated by the Delhi police, many names were taken, and those names included the names of those who are still playing. Yes, uh, absolutely. Uh, uh, they uh, they were literally on um, statement that um, you know how uh, if I go back, it will be. Um, they were really, really uh, specific on certain names, and we have proof and. Uh, it's not you who has done it i said i have not done it it's not you who have done it it's not you who have done it there are so many names you have no idea your full ipl is um, and 
they were literally saying your full ipl is what uh, fixed and sare um, you know um, everybody's involved your administrators are involved your this is involved that your head is involved um, so many owners are involved they were literally why are you why are you not um, accept, accepting it uh, you know it was like a um, bowl 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 you know it was more like a, everything was asked in hindi and um, i was literally out of place uh, first I, i remember first seven days i must have slept maybe um, i don't even because it, out of 24 hours it was like one commando comes and derogates then we are, i was in a different room some other guy comes and asks the same question again um then at 3 in the morning suddenly somebody will come and hey kya tha hey kon hai and they used to come out with so many so many names and keep on asking questions about the same thing again and again and again and again it was more like a, and uh, um it was it was difficult even even when we were even even I, when i was walking into the um even um, even if i go to a washroom it was like <laughs> the commanders were watching as if they don't do what did they say they said a l- lot of things they said what did they share with you we want our viewers to know the truth about what's been going on inside the ipl and let's speak the truth today uh, i am sushant you must understand this you've got nothing to lose now yes so i want you to tell me what were the names that were told to you there are so many names taken because uh, i names of who names players. of uh, players administrators owners of uh, the team owners of teams uh, yes how many owners uh, mo i uh, they took the names and couple of them were even banned for two years later uh, by the law the reforms uh, uh, when the mudugal committee how many players there were so many names taken and um, what kind of names sir i really don't want to what uh, kind of because names? it was all accus- accusations because the accusations what the police were not making accusations what were the police telling you about these names the police were telling this uh, we have enough proof against this player abhi main unko leke aaunga abhi do din mein dekhna a lo bhi aayega tere sath abhi to bol de and you know it was like it was like that so um and they were showing the videos of um, the bombay police when uh, the my weapons arrest and i think um, we do by we, we do uh, and they were all arrested mm. and the, how they getting treated and they saying mm. abhi zyada bolenge to aapko bombay bhej denge you will be thrown to bombay then you will be going in a, a local it is more like a mental torture and it was like taking names but they are telling you that you are saying that they are, they took the names of people who who were there yes they were, took a lot of international players names they took a lot of uh, first class players name uh, um and uh, they were all accused uh, they were li- they were literally saying this is what they have done this is what they have done hey, they they a match be fixed day and they literally showed that you see this is ma- this is you know it was it they showed you matches of other international players no when the ipl matches is going on well, I, they showed you footage of ipl matches no no the when the matches is going on tv uh, the interrogation used to happen and um agar if you are there see watch how much they have paid you know it was like a joke so they for showed them. you were, were they just psyching you or did they have information they told you they had information they yes they they did say if, um, we have enough proof and you have no idea we'll jaise aapko leke aaye sabko leke aane wala hu so that is exact words and within what time frame uh, this is during those 12 days and on uh, as i said on how many of them are india players said how I, many of them are india players sir there were many names taken sir there were many many names taken so f- some are playing international some are playing nationals um, some playing first class some there were a lot of other countries players names taken too so f- um how many players from india how many players who play for india or have played for india there must be at least seven eight players uh, seven eight players must be, i mean talking about the names which they took I'm delhi police t- take, took the name of yes, seven eight players yes easily. they call them fixers yes they they call them not just fixers they uh, said a lot of things about them also don't like worry. what uh, bad things bad things like about how they played and how they are playing and how how much money you guys are making and it's all sold and uh, it's all sold before you guys even play and um, there were so many things was uh, said and uh, i remember the interrogation where uh, um, mr um, uh, the guy who was in charge i don't know don't take his name mm. as i said earlier who was in charge who is this neeraj kumar yes uh, neeraj he, kumar yes what did neeraj kumar tell you uh, i remember um, you don't have to worry um, you don't know who were all were involved in 2000 case i was in charge um, and 2000 have, which hansikronic is yes hansikronic is he, he took 
all those players' names and said, you have no idea. Literally, your BCCI official begged me. They were on my feet. Uh, they were the, on my... The BCCI officials begged Neeraj Kumar? Uh, to not to reveal names then. Um, that's what he said. Um, and uh, I, a couple of days back, um, bef when I opened up in Republic TV the other mm. day, um, he made a statement saying, uh, we have enough proof and according to us, he's guilty. Um, so, I just want to ask him, uh, if you have so much proof, then show it to the world. That is one. Second part is, can you please explain the 2000 incident to everybody which you closed? And third thing, I really want the nation to ask the everybody in the world is, uh, not just our nation, everybody across the globe who follows cricket. A guy who just got retired became the chief of um, anti-corruption, zero tolerance to corruptions unit's head who proclaims that there is no corruption happening now. If betting might be still happening, but there is no fixes, everything is washed out. How can fixing be done without the knowledge of the captains or the players? With such such billion dollar uh, companies investing or the owners investing on that big league, uh, no owner is going to take the risk of uh, betting without the knowledge of a captain of players, which is, uh, I think, Mr. Neeraj Kumar only should have to explain that. And third thing is, a um, uh, fourth most uh, important thing which I feel, what about the case which is not sold, um, which is a 2012 Nirbhaya case which everybody knows about it. He was in the verge of resigning and I think this was like a, um, if my name was not in that um, list mm. in 2013, I don't think even we would have had a conversation. How uh, many players? No, one second. You are saying that he told you that he did a deal with the BCCI and the Hansi Kronia case? He, he, he said they literally begged him not to take the names and he took some names which I don't want to even mm. take. Uh, it might be the accu accused players as the way I am because I am an accused guy mm. who is still fighting my case. But uh, what did he do for those, for those players? Nothing. No, he didn't do anything. He said, I saved their... I can't say it on... Yeah. yeah, that's what he said. So they should be really thankful to me. And this is nothing. There are so many people involved. You don't know. Don't worry, don't worry. I said, I'm not involved. Why are you, why are you keep on telling me the stories? And there are people who have been... Uh, the reason which I have started playing cricket. Uh, so you are taking those names, uh, thinking that I am going to say yes. That is stupidity. Uh, I, whether they have done it or not, I, I still don't believe because you are telling me, because you are telling in front of me and accusing me. And he wanted to know a lot of, uh, it was, I don't know, it was, a, it was more like a sweet, uh, sweet interrogation, trying to get the, I am your friend, that kind of a later. Uh, that is, this is during the seventh, eighth, ninth day, because no, no interrogation was, uh, you know, f literally forcing me or, um, asking me the right questions. Uh, it was just making a point that you have to say yes. So he, you're saying, Every that you're, you're saying, you're saying for all the people watching this interview right now, you're saying that Neeraj Kumar told you that he saved the names of top Indian international players, many of whom are legends at that in the Hansi Kronia case at that point of because time. the Indian cricket board fell at his feet and begged him for help. That's exactly what he said. The officials of BCCI then, apparently according to him, on that day, this is exact words he said to me. And the Delhi police revealed names of players from India, who they said they had evidence in, in the IPL fixing. That case. was during the interrogation, they kept on taking names and... Uh, Are they called, junior level or senior level players? They were senior level players, as well as players who have started playing with me also, so f across the globe. So. F um, I see. Are I, some of these players also playing other formats of cricket? Yes. Most of them are. I mean, the names which they took. And when I made a statement on, I never. Big stars. Yeah. Uh, depends on what. Some of the present big stars. Names, then, yes. Couple of them for sure. Some of the names taken for you uh, in front of you, who the Delhi police said they had evidence about, are the present big stars of Indian cricket. Yes or no, Shushan? Yes, yes, sir. That was the names taken then by the Delhi police and during the interrogation, yes. And they said that they would go after them. They will drag them the way they dragged me, and they are going to end this so called big league. 
this is full of they corruption. They could end the league. Yeah, because they have, they said it is one of the worst thing that could happen to Indian cricket, uh, and we don't care. हम सारे भक्ति और भजन के साथ पूजा करके देखते हैं और आप लोग जो करते हैं दे वर लिटल इट सेइंग दैट एक्यूसेशन एंड एक्यूसेशन एंड एक्यूसेशन दो साल तक हम देखते थे दो साल जैसे ही एक केस वगैरह आया उसके बाद हम तो क्रिकेट देखते ही नहीं दैट्स व्हाट मोस्ट ऑफ देम वेर हैविंग द सेम um same then why did they not proceed against any of those names i that's that's why i'm here so i really want why did they not proceed against those names i really want to know why didn't they reveal those names i have no idea you know how unfortunate this is you're out of cricket you're out of cricket you cannot you have a life ban you cannot play cricket they are playing cricket and you're telling me they're still playing cricket for the country they are playing cricket for the country and you're down in the dumps It's it's. Um, what do you feel when you see these players play for the country? See, even I was accused, um, so I had to literally fight my battle all of my myself and with my close ones and dear ones to win the case in 2015, uh, where I got discharged from uh, the court. And then I had this faith in um, BCCI because BCCI is my parent body at the end of the day, and not just because of three or four uh, officials, I should not. Blame the BCCI. Don't be diplomatic. You have said there are three or four administrators who are yes. completely against you. Yeah. Who are these administrators? I really don't want to name them, sir. What reason do they have to be against you? I I want to. Uh, I I don't know. You have to ask them personally because I I I would love to know. Um, maybe uh, maybe because of this 2013 incident and so-called Sri Shant's name was involved. Maybe that is one of the reason. It became a huge news of uh, Mudugal committee coming in, a uh, lot of reforms coming in, and a lot of so-called uh, brilliant administrators have lost their job, lost their places. Um, so there, it might be one reason um, um, that uh, if everything is sorted, he should not play. Uh, maybe that is that can. No, that's not the issue. The issue is I feel strongly about this too. And let me tell you, Shishant, when I saw you taken by the Delhi police. I felt angry too. Not for you. I felt angry okay. as a follower of the game, and I said, "Is it possible?" But then you came out, and your name's been cleared, but you still face a life ban. Yes. On the other hand, there are oh. 13 players. Let's be very factual here. There are 13 accused, players. There are 13 accused names. Six of them are players. Still Six play. players still playing. Whose names are there under the scanner in the Mudgal Committee report in a sealed envelope? We have the right to know. Personally, personally, if you really ask me, I, if they are guilty and if there are enough proof, then tell the world. If not, the courtesy they are, the BCC is showing to them, at least have little mercy towards me because I have completely cleared, but still they are against me for some reason. I I don't want their them or their family to go through what me or my family went through. I'm not trying to dip, dip, diplomatic because what we went through or what I went through is um, worse than the closest to that will be uh, death. Nothing else because I think I'm I can I can surely relate my life in the last two and a half to four years. Surely that uh, the only strong uh, or strong points which I had or the strength which I had was my family and the close ones who. If they were not there, I don't think even I would have survived. Even the, even in Tihar jail or even in Delhi cell, something kept me going only because of the no, truth. Even the even the former Delhi Police Commissioner, while speaking to the public, has said it is not for up to him to ask the Supreme Court to reveal the names. But if you felt so strongly about the injustice that you are talking about now, why didn't you go to the Supreme Court and demand equal treatment? That's why did you allow it to linger? No, sir. I in when I got the clean sheet on uh, when I got discharged in 2015, as I said earlier, I waited uh, for the BCCI to respond. I had this feeling, I had because Anurag Thakur was in, um, I think, the president then, and there were so many reforms were coming in. So I waited. I requested. BC, I sent. I don't know how many emails to BCCI. There was no acknowledgement of. Forget the BCCI. Did you speak to your fellow players? 
Uh, did you ever pick up the phone and speak to the, your fellow players? Uh, I'm a, I don't want to take the names, but don't take the names. But yes, tell me yes, about yes, it. I did. I did. What did you do? I spoke to a lot of uh, people who I really respect, and they really supported me. What uh, did they say? They said, "Don't worry. You have to be strong. You can't give up." Uh, That's rubbish. It means nothing. Yeah, you you are still young. Um, that means nothing. This is what they said. This and sometimes the valuation, all that, that doesn't. Did you ever meet a bookie? No, never, never, no. But the way the Delhi cell showed the bookie. you were photographed with bookies. No, that bookie which the Delhi cell is showed is a guy who has played cricket, which a lot of public doesn't know. Who was under under 19, under 15, under 23 captain for Gujarat. Then he came and played for Kerala. He was my roommate in MR of Pace Foundation. Uh, I am not supporting him, but the way the media showed him was as a bookie. So yes, if he is the bookie, as I know that guy, but. He's played cricket with me. He's the captain for my club. Were you the only player he was in touch with? Oh, I'm, I don't know, sir. Because he's, he was one of my closest friends who stood by me even when I had the surgery. I used to bowl to him. He's a brilliant batsman and I used to bowl well. So, he used to train with me. Um, even he knew I am... I'm going. I am training very hard to make it to the South African series. So, in, even in my wildest dreams, I will not even doubted him if, if he or his friend circle is doing anything on me or on, on behalf of me or whatever. So, I could, I could never, uh, I could never um, till that day when I started getting interrogation and when I, when the picture started getting clear in my head how, this was happening. Till then, I would have never even guessed that he or his friends would do anything like that. Uh, if they have done it. So, if, um, uh, in that way, yes, if they are calling him a bookie, yes, uh, he's, he's a cricketer. So, for me, he was a cricketer then and he's still a cricketer. But, yeah, he's, he didn't get banned for life because... What did MS Dhoni tell you about the charges against you? Where do you spoke to him? No, I, ha I haven't spoken to Dhoni, yes, no. No, I had messaged him but there was no response. So, um, you messaged him? Yes. Uh, what did you say to MS Dhoni? I said, I really hope you guys don't... Uh, I, I, I really hope, Dhoni Bhai, you don't believe all this. Uh, I hope, uh, uh, you know, I get justice sooner or later and unless until I start playing cricket again. Uh, or uh, only with performance. I, it was a long message. It was like an emotional. It was more like a... Because I treat him like an elder brother when I used to play. Um, so, uh, that was a message. That was somewhat the same message to literally every player. And... Um, no, most of them didn't respond, uh, but were, they were very s nice and... Did you write to Jadeja? Ravindra Jadeja? No, no. I was, I was, he was just a, a colleague for mine, so Did I Did you write to Ashwin? No. Then the captain was Dhoni Bhai, so I wanted to make sure the captain doesn't have any, um, you know, f odd feeling towards me, so I, I wanted to make sure... Um, and a lot of senior players, they all, they all responded back in a very uh, good way and as you said, nothing helped me. But yes, even a pat on my back or no worries, Sri, I am with you. That was enough for me then to just keep going. Did you write to Dravid? He didn't respond. I must have written, I don't know how many times. To Rahul Dravid? And in fact, a... Rahul Bhai, uh, with all respect to Rahul Bhai, as a cricketer and as a human being, um, 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 I don't know that I should say this because uh, I am a huge fan of Rahul Bhai as well. But then um, there was an incident. I am sure you can go back and uh, check the uh, media. When I was in jail, which is the most saddening part was um, there was an interview of Rahul Bhai where um, the Rajasthan Royals, because they wanted to um, show that there is no part in Delhi cell. I remember Raj Kundra to everybody coming to the Delhi cell because we were in the same place. And uh, I don't know how they all escaped. Delhi cell had nothing against them later. Um, uh, but I remember Rahul Bhai and Paddy Opton, when the coach, uh, Rajasthan Royals made a statement to the public saying, Srishan's contract got terminated on May 13th or May 12th after the Chennai Super Kings match because he had a brawl with Rahul Dravid and the coach because he didn't get to play against Chennai Super Kings. He was drunk and he, may, he had a very bad way of approach in that party on the 12th night when Rajasthan was defeated Chennai Super Kings. And when that was asked to, I think Rahul Bhai on TV or something, he didn't respond to that, but he didn't deny it. So it was as if uh, Rajasthan Royals wanted him to say something, but it was very sad to see that 
he didn't say he didn't have fight. I never had a fight. In fact, I still remember when I, I enjoyed Chennai Super King. I, I don't know, for some reason, they were LO and LOs are Australians for me and I love playing against Australia. So, on that day, I remember going to Raj, Rahul Bhai and hugging him and congratulating him and saying, thanks a lot, Ra Rahul Bhai. And I have proof also because it was in the Marriott um, corridors, the CCT footage which they didn't show. I really want to see the footage where I am fighting with uh, them. And it was very sad part that, um, you know, person who was my first captain, person who knows me inside out, um, even said th things like, I think it's in Indie TV, I don't know, some TV channel, he said, it's greediness which makes, and I'm really sad to know youngsters don't learn. He didn't even think once, it was an accusation. It was not, it was, I was not, I was just picked up and thrown to something and a uh, senior like him who knows me so well should have, if not stand by me, at least don't, uh, how do I, how do I say it? Uh, I never thought, a lot of people, uh, that he, I thought he will be the last person who will, like Sachin Paji and all, didn't even respond, uh, that it is like not being with you or not against you, you know, uh, till it's proven. So, on the third or the fourth day when I was in jail, this interview was given and it was very sad because he stood by Rajasthan Dolls because he was the coach come player of the team, maybe. But that's what these cricketers do, they all compromise, they never speak on these issues. I told Sachin when I met him, why did you never speak on the fixing issue if you felt strongly about it? He didn't say anything this way or that. Neither did Dravid, he didn't say anything this way or that. They play safe. But Virubai, I, Virubai came out and open, I remember Virubai. Um, uh, Virubai actually supported. He said, as much as I know him, I don't think he will do it. He, he said that, uh, um, thanks, to, thanks to him and a lot of, um, Bajipa to a lot of people, uh, in fact, uh, supported him. Even Uvipa when he came to um, uh, uh, Kochi for that match, just after the incident, when I was out, of, out on bail in but July. isn't it important that the senior players talk about I, it? I, not talk about it. I think the senior players should insist that the names of the other six players who are in that sealed envelope should be made public because I think it's hypocritical and I think Sachin Tendulkar should be the first person to come out and say that let the names of the six players but sorry, they are let the names of the six players come out but they are also accused sir I mean if they are proof against them yeah sure but let the, if they are accused let them go through a proper process of investigation it was just sealed I think it's still sealed it's still sealed should the senior players not say that let the six names come out? And Mujugal sir the other day said also, I mean, I have no right to ask. Correct, I am not. But, yeah, but the sh should the six, should the top players, the cricket legends of India, not say that let the names of the other six players also come out? Because I think the nation has a right to know who those players are. But it will really affect the game, sir. Uh, the way they said to me. Um, but Affect the game, is it? Because I went through, um, if imagine 13, Accused players going through the same again. Um, unless until proven guilty. You know the names. In, injustice. You know the names. I know the names of. You know the names. Sir. You know the names of how many of the six? Sir, uh, <laughs> from what Neeraj Kumar told you. Not just Neeraj Kumar. Or lot the of other or who yeah. were the interrogation. How many of the names do you know? I know a few names, but unless until I see the envelope, I won't. I sure, won't. but how many do you broadly know? Sir, it's, it's as. Uh, before I come, came into the interview, I was just telling, um, in fact, my family that this is just the beginning. Uh, and if I start opening up and if I start talking, it's it's going to, uh, you know, because I love this game. No, that's all right. But I, I, no, I, but how many I, I'm of a the cricketer, six, cricket fan. How many first. of the six players do you know? I, I know a few of them for sure, sir. And tell me one thing. I hope, uh, you know, as because I'm not telling that um, these are the names in the 13 names which is in the sealed envelope, but yes, um, there were big, big names taken by this um, interrogation time by the Delhi cell, uh, which they, and even the first class players' names they took, they they never, um, the best example is uh, Mr. Rajkundra itself, uh, when they came, uh, they, were, they had given clean shit to all of these and then Mudugal committee came no, in. No, no, one second. Let me ask you this. Stop prevaricating, Shrishant. I really don't no, 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 I'm not asking you for the names, but I'm going to ask you something now. That if I were to give you the names of the top 
10 players of Indian cricket, how, what percentage of those players would be among the list that you are aware of which the Delhi police told you about? 3, 2, 4, 5, 6 or more? 6 or more. 6 or more. 6 or more of the top 10 Indian players were named to you by then, the Delhi police. Then who were playing and who had played, who had just, yeah, and the first class players, yes. Who actually played in the later. The names which they took then, in fact, made, ended up playing for India later. And, yeah. You know how big this is? But they were all accused. I know that yeah, they are accused. So, so I but, then, but then, more than 50% of the top stars of Indian cricket, their names were taken by the Delhi police in their interrogation of you. And a lot of foreign, uh, very established players too. Other, other international country players. In fact, uh, if you really look back, um, there were certain players who wanted to go back to the country when uh, I got arrested, thinking that uh, people who actually so-called, I will say maybe I have, when my name it became a huge news and there were people uh, who wanted to go back home for personal reasons. Um, strange. They wanted to leave home, thinking that what if they get picked. So, um, yeah, I think there are other cricketers who actually left also. Why? They felt I was scared. in jail, so I'm not sure. No, why? Why did they? They, were, they felt scared they'd be, maybe, their names would come out? Maybe. Maybe. Because, in fact... Guilty uh, conscience. Maybe, sir. Because their, their names were surely taken by them. Um, and they were... I remember, I don't want... I will not name... No, go But on. Uh, they were saying, Dar gaya wo log. Dek bhaag rahe apne desh. You know? Who said that? Uh, one of the one of the people who was interrogating me. Bhaag raha hai, bhaag raha hai. Dekh, kaha bhaagega? Har koi kahi bhi bhaagega, ham jaake unko pakad ke aayega. That sex side lines they said. Um, yeah, to, it was. I am right now. I am just being very um, the best possible way I can say it because we are n on just not nationally because this this is actually international hmm. news at the end of the day and. Uh, it was a very, very bad and um, sad phase, not just for me, but as you said, as a cricket fan. Um, that's why I waited two and a half years to even, unless until I get cleared in the court, um, with my own proper, like, thanks to Rebecca, ma'am, and uh, Vishal Gosla and uh, associates, and even, even Pinaki Mr. Sir. I, I remember Pinaki Mr. Sir is the one who took the, because he understands cricket, and he's the one uh, who, who fought my case and uh, got me a bail, and uh, which was very important because uh, the what I went through. Um, when you ask about what did you go through at a personal but when you level, went, sir, you are now taking on the BCCI. Sir, now, I, now you're, take, you're taking not. you're taking on the BCCI. You have said the BCCI is powerful. Most of the countries are scared of the BCCI. Yes, it is, but you know. Sir, I will share an incident because of the scary part because you read yes. about it. Uh, the only reason I said this, I was invited uh, to Bahrain uh, to play a um, charity game. It was, um, it was in Bahrain, Iran Stadium by the sports ministry and mm. um, Irfan was there, Irfi, he's very close to me, Irfan, RP and other cricketers were there. Uh, they both got the NOC to play. Um, I, because I never wanted an NOC because they said it's anyway a charity game. Um, because the organizers were, you know, how a lot of Malayalis were there. They were all really thrilled because my ban was lifted. They wanted me to play. So I went there. Um, suddenly that official came to me and uh, into the hotel and said, Shri, I'm really sorry. Um, uh, we have got an le objection letter from um, DCCI saying that you won't be able to play. So I said, are you sure? Oh, yeah, because uh, other players have been uh, revoked the NOC. They had given NOC to RP and Irfan and all that, but then um, they had revoked saying that you can't play that league because I was there. So that is the incident. Um, then I was asked not to play the match. Then, and the worst thing that that happened on that day was I was asked, okay, chalo, even if you're not playing, come as a guest and sit. Mm -hmm. So I went and sat in the ground. On the other day, I would have got emotional if I said this because I, I don't, I don't want to be. I don't want to get the sympathy as uh, my fa parent, father said, you know, especially when you're on a live uh, TV, sympathy is not what I'm looking for. I'm just telling the fact here. That day when I was sitting and watching the game, people are playing. 
official comes to me and says, uh, Shri, if you don't mind, can you please leave? Can you leave? So I said, why? Um, there are males which they didn't show, saying that if you are seen or uh, with me, even they will have to face uh, um, consequences. So I said, I don't want to trouble anybody. Um, I was in fact crying all the way to the, uh, not crying in the sense I was very emotional that day when I came back to the hotel and I was thinking why is this, is this the way and everybody is scared, that's a fact and I don't have to say it and they, everybody knows because uh, this league being the richest league and uh, even when you see an international Did you ever meet a bookie, one second, did you ever fix a match, no, did you sir. give a signal, no, no. were you holding a towel in your hand, no, were you giving no. a signal to someone outside? Never. Tell me the fact right so now, never, did I you will, ever I, do that? Because, no. because then every single piece of footage yes, sir. from every match is now being seen saying, see their towel, yes. see their signal. I will, I, will, I will explain that over. I followed, I followed IPL, Gurunath yes. Mayappan was not a fake issue. Yes. There was betting going on. The question is, was there fixing? I believe there was betting going on. Okay. We chased the IPL 2 scam. I didn't become friends with N. Srinivasan. We fought them. I'm asking you here today, you are on television. Yes, sir. It's a transparent medium. Did you at any point of time do something? Willingly, unwillingly, knowingly, unknowingly, consciously, unconsciously, implicitly, directly or otherwise? No, never. I will never... Which would amount to indicating what should be done on the field to someone off the field. No, never. Shishant. I was, I was surely... Talk to your conscience, not to me. Yes, uh, as I'm saying, the uh, truth and the fact here, uh, I will never ever cheat the game. Even while doing a practice practice game, I... In fact... Uh, Were you swayed? Were you young? Did no. you move around in circles where this no. is Srishant could have been influenced by... No, never. ...IPL parties, no. other things, allurements, I'm, inducements. I'm, I've been brought up in... Uh, luckily, I'm brought up in Bangalore. It's not just the Indian cricket or... But Indian. they say you're a wild guy. I was, uh, till the, I mean, till yeah. that incident, yes, uh, I used to think uh, all you need is performance and nothing else. You don't need anybody's backup and you don't need to suck up to people. And uh, this incident uh, made me and I used to uh, think that all will stand by me. I have not done anything wrong, uh, but everybody was running away. And that obviously has questioned and as you said, I would love to because people are watching. I want, I really want um, to explain, uh, not to get um, or accuse anybody or I am just telling, clearing my facts because in even in the court you don't get to speak, your lawyer speaks for you. Uh, I was accused of giving 14 plus runs in one over. Yeah. In that over the runs we've given were 13, one. That's a, that's a number. Yeah, and four balls I had given five runs. If I knew what's happening, I won't be bowling at 130 or 135 plus, that too after my toe surgery. I could have easily bowled at 119, 115, 120 and given opportunity. But you're a, you're a smart guy, you could have bowled the ball with 120, but you can 130 in a way. And but sir, you can see all the, all the six, I'm not uh, contradict, contradicting or I'm trying, not trying to explain, explain, but people who understand cricket including you, four balls that have given five runs bowling 130 or 135 plus balls and one of the, uh, one of the ball if I had a, um, I think its square leg was inside. If the square leg was outside and final leg was in, I should have got a wicket, um, which was a top edge. And the fourth ball was just a on the rise cover drive by Gilchrist. And it was Gilchrist. And the last ball was almost a return catch. If I kept, uh, everybody knows how hard he is. Uh, that is the six balls. I didn't bowl a single slow ball. I didn't even bowl a single no ball, a single wide in that over. Luckily, and Srishant, uh, I remember even in about your towel, that was one um, evidence which police were showing it again and again. They go, mm. uh, especially, um, I will, I'll, I'll show you a lot of matches and even the conversation uh, which uh, the so-called bookie or Jiju had with the uh, people, other bookies or whatever they showed on TV was, he was never specific on anything. He wasn't even sure. He was very close to me. He said either he will wear a towel or he might wear a wristband. He sometimes will wear a tikka, but he will give a signal. That's what he said. If he was so sure, if I had a conversation with him before the match, I would have said to him, okay, I will do this, I will do that. But it was shown in the media and by Delhi police in, in the television as if this is, ex this is the only conversation he had with that person. Um, 
and that over in fact the first over itself you can um, and it was i think it was a um, it was a 4 4 pm match i think yes it was a 4 pm match i went Dharam Sena was the umpire, Dharam Sena sir was the umpire and first over itself I would have actually kept the towel. I said, I would have kept the towel. The towel was more of one was... Did anyone ever ask you to uh, fix a match? Maybe you said no. Did anyone at any point of time do no. that? No. No, never. No, Did no. anyone approach you? No, never. Did anyone ever approach you? No, t not till date. Nobody has, nobody has approached me because uh, <laughs> the way, I mean, I, I shouldn't be saying it but then on TV but then all, the way my friend says, you are also running like that. You know, who will come and, you know, my economy rate and, uh, who know, it will be some stupid bookie if, uh, you know, who, if, if n till, till date, God's grace, I, I, I've attended so many parties, there's nobody who's come up to me and uh, said anything to me. After coming out, did anyone ever tell you not to speak, to keep your mouth shut? Because you are talking about huge powers and, and you said out here in an interview when you were asked about whether there was a conspiracy against you, you said whether it is because of my political leanings or for me being from the south, I don't know but I know that I am facing huge powers. Who are these huge powers you are referring to? What clout are you referring to? Elaborate, Shrishant. And what does ha being from the south have to do with you on this case? Are you saying there is an anti-south bias in the BCCI? Please be direct with me, Shrishant. I will not exactly say they are biased with South or they are um, um, they are against South Indians or uh, mm. but maybe um, when even in, even when it comes to administration according to the law reforms or uh, which uh, they still mm. not have done uh, which has been more than an, uh, more than mm. a year mm. uh, now uh, even when it comes to administration I think I might be the guy who is eligible uh, to contest as a Malayali mm. uh, in in the administration when it comes to that five test category or uh, even when it comes to national, being a national selector um, and there are so many things as a Malayali uh, I would have actually got if all this wouldn't have happened even once the ban got lifted all BCCA or the officials had to do was uh, let me play I am I was not asking um, to make me play for the country even all my interview I said I want to play 2019 World Cup I want to play South African cities so why are you saying you will be ready to play for other countries if required. That was a sir, ridiculous comment. Sir, That's a ridiculous comment. It is not ridiculous. It is a completely ridiculous How? comment. I have. It is the most bizarre comment. You say, you spoke to Asia Net News and you said, if not India, I can play for any other country. I and later play, you said your words were misinterpreted. How does someone play misinterpret, if not India, I can play for any other country? It is Who will you play for? Pakistan? No. Sri it Lanka? Is. No. I Bangladesh? Might, I might Zimbabwe? Never know. I might even play for Canada. I might... Why? But, uh, but they Why are, would you do that? Sir, Wouldn't that be if, the worst if, thing? If my you, bread can't, butter, you cannot be an opportunist here. You'd be an opportunist then and say I'm not allowed to play lost, for my country. I have lost four and a half years of elite uh, or I should say the best years of a fast bowler which is... I mean some bizarre comments you are saying. You have said in the past if Adnan Sani can get an Indian citizenship, I too no. can get a Pakistani citizenship. I want I, to start I, the process now. That's not me. That's, That's not, not me. you? No. I have never said that. Because usually you say things and then you say I got emotional and got that carried away. That is not me. That's not That you. is a wrong news. I will never say that. All I said is, if I am working with Wipro and Wipro bans me, which is a private company, which BCCI is. Are you thinking of playing for other countries? Sir, if I am getting an opportunity uh, and if I am allowed to play, I would love you to. You will play against India. Come on, Shisha. <laughs> I really Come don't. On, Shisham, this I is really don't want to play against India. That is, if I have to make it to the national squad, I, I am saying am a club very cricket. I'm proud Indian, and I felt Same downright yes, angry and let down when I heard you say that. I said, this cannot happen. You fight with the BCCI. But sir, unfortunately, BCCI controls the whole cricket. I can't even play for my Kerala state, which is under BCCI. I can't even play for my own club, which I pay for, because it is under Kerala Cricket Association. I can't even play for Ernakulam district, which I am come from, because it is under Kerala Cricket Association which is the Rana District Association, everybody is... So you you going to the Supreme Court against the man? Yes, I am. I have to because that is, that is the only option I have left to start playing cricket. I, I got my academy, I got my academy boys, most of them are scared because they, if, what if they don't get selected? Because they are in my academy. I don't want my kids, uh, my son is growing up, my daughter is growing up. I want two workers for the country, I can't even take my kid to watch in future for no fault of mine. Some admi administrator cannot uh, How old are your kids? My my daughter is two two years old and my uh, son is now ten months. Um, 
in fact 11 month uh, this year this month 23rd is his birthday so if i don't want my son in future he's playing cricket and i can't even enter the stadium um, i was even thrown out of chinnaswamy stadium um, being a coach of celebrity league i was with telugu warriors mr bijesh patel didn't like the way i was uh, in the stadium even when my case got over he had issues of me being in the stadium i was asked to leave the stadium how has it been for your father for your parents very very difficult sir very even now i think the happiest day of my father's day must be when the ban got lifted but it was short lived about 6 to 7 weeks later bcci again goes to the um, division bench makes the appeal gets the ban stayed now uh, i was training at um, uh, you know different different academies to get fit uh, i was into movies and politics but then the moment i came to the ban is lifted i was completely everything was taken a back seat and uh, you know i wanted to bowl fast again i again clocked 140 plus 147.6 i was i just bowled a week back and i am completely fit looking forward to play and suddenly this happens uh, division bench says you can't play your band again um, so what do you what do you suggest as you said if you're talking about india i want you to take your father suffered a loss after you yes yes even as you said even my father didn't like when i said uh, uh, you know i will play for the other country as you said he's asked the same so you want to play against india but as a father and i'm sure you will understand too uh, imagine your son not allowed for no fault of his in a school where he's playing to play for them obviously you as a father will say uh, son i'm going to put you in another school so that you can play against them it's a country yes but unfortunately it's controlled by bcci which is a private firm it's not even sai it's not sports authority of india it is not really the national team let's let's be let's be honest it's a private firm they don't even listen to supreme court and they are talking about zero tolerance to corruption who is not corrupted in that association i really want to know there are all, everybody has been asked to move out of their positions they are still holding on to the chair and they are worried about a malayali who is 35 going to be 35 in february what harm i going to do to bcci or kerala cricket association all i am asking is give me a chance to play for my cricket which is my club if i am good in club cricket let me play for my kerala state and if i am really good and sprinting and i am bowling fast and getting wickets with experience why not i play for the country what if after this interview the moment the interview is telecast two important people call you and say please shut up now don't say a word more you said there were six players don't reveal anything more because the way you are referring to it it almost seems like you're taking on some global mafia of cricket what if they tell you to shut up what if they threaten you what if they Sir. they warn you what if they use I've, strong I've arm been... tactics against you i have not thought about it because i wanted to come on it can happen it can happen it can because it's as you said it can be i don't know how big it is going to become all i can say is i am not going against bcci i am i'm i'm trying to explain this in every interview possible i am trying to say why can't you i love me to play club cricket or state cricket i don't put me in the national team as you said i don't want to play against india all i ask is if i am 34 going to be 35 i just got four or five years of cricket left in me i can do my politics and acting later thanks to the party that they are supporting me there thanks to my movie industry which a movie i'm doing touch wood uh, you know i'm good getting good offers but i am cricketer all this happened because of cricket i want to play cricket i whether it's any county whether it's scotland whether it is anywhere yeah. i want to play cricket and there also have to perform sir i have to perform it's cricket it's global That's game true. i have to perform only then i'll play for the country yeah. if i am not good enough i yeah. told in my interview i will walk away you, i will play once one match if i am not good enough i'll walk you, away from you the know, game you know shishan in conclusion i'll tell you one thing i have always believed that open the cupboards pull the skeletons out and so i would only say this at the end sir sure. that it is time those six players names are out and they go through what you went through let them go through their interrogation investigation and come out but it's tragic in indian cricket if more than 50% of the players were potential suspects for the delhi police and they did nothing i wish you all the best thank Shishar. you sir. thank you very much and i hope you come through whatever you've been through thank you thank it's you it's great to see you thank you sir all thank the you. very best thank you sir thank you